2024 Ford Ranger will crush Toyota Tacoma. In two years, an electric Ranger will arrive in Australia. Ford's next move in electrifying the Ford Ranger will be a hybrid, which might also hit the market in two years, in contrast to the all-electric F-150 Lightning. A Ford Ranger Electric will soon be added to the list, rounding out the available alternatives. The new Ford Ranger Raptor 2024 is about to go into production and is ready to rival Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. When it eventually ships, this model will bring several upgrades. In case you are unaware, the well-known F-150 Raptor is the low-performance sibling of this high-performance performance model. The vehicle has excellent off-road capabilities and roughly the same size of its sibling. Hey guys, welcome back to EV Zone, where we tell you the latest and trending news about electric vehicles. So stay tuned till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any information. And before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. The Ranger Hybrid would be sold in areas across the world where the EV charging infrastructure is developing or where pollution standards are becoming stricter. Take a look at what Ford's mid-size pickup vehicle has in store. The new Ford Ranger, which was unveiled in late 2021, looks just as spectacular as the new F-150. Like its American cousin, it has a big matrix LED headlights with C-clamp daytime running lights. An aggressive radiator grille that is taller and wider draws attention to the pickup's width. The radiator grille has a two-bar section in the center that cuts into the headlights, just like the F-150. However, unlike the all-American full-size pickup, the one-ton Ute, which was created in Australia, lacks active grille shutters. The brand new design has muscles on the hood to give it a commanding presence. Although not identical, the side profile resembles the contemporary Ranger. The door panel's sophisticated concave surfacing and the truck's delicate shoulder line add freshness to the design. Moving to the back, the taillights, like the headlights, come in a selection of halogen and LED units and have the distinguishing graphics on the front. The next generation Ranger was designed with input from thousands of existing Ranger owners across the world. Max Tran, the product's chief designer, explains. The Ford Ranger's cabin has a more modern automobile-like appearance. The center console, steering wheel, and AC vents have been shrunk in size, but the dashboard retains its recognizable truck-like design. The interior's appearance is sleeker and more upscale, thanks to less switchgear and fewer physical controls, a 12-inch SYNC 4 portrait touchscreen infotainment system, and a fully digital instrument cluster. Ford claims that the Ranger is the most intelligent Ranger ever, and given the availability of SYNC 4, we wouldn't contest that claim. The mobile app Remote Start, car status, and remote lock and unlock functions are already available, and future Ford PowerUp wireless software upgrades should make it simple to add more connected vehicle services to the list. A 360-degree camera and a Qi wireless phone charger are among the technological features. Ford's brand new Ranger is the most durable and capable Ranger it has ever produced. The firm has made significant technical advancements that enhance its efficiency, strength, riding quality, and performance. Under the new bodywork is an improved chassis. The track is 50 millimeters wider and the wheelbase is 50 millimeters longer. The occupants will have more room because to the extended wheelbase. Anthony Hall, the Ranger Vehicle Engineering Manager, claims that the 50 millimeter wider track makes a significant difference, particularly in the cargo box. It'll be feasible to load some fundamental objects flat, such as a full size or a sheet of building plywood. To increase the Ranger's approach angle and outboard for better off-road articulation, the developers moved the front wheels forward by 50 millimeters. For a smoother ride, the rear suspension dampers were removed outboard of the frame rails. Customers have a choice between a full-time four-wheel drive system that is more focused on off-road use and an electronic shift on the fly system. Off-road recovery is now made simpler by the front bumper's dual recovery hooks. A hydro-formed front-end structure, according to Ford, frees up room in the engine bay and helps the Ranger be future-proof for new propulsion technologies. This gives the impression that the new generation Ranger was created with alternative powertrains in mind. On July 9, 2022, Car Scoops reported that the U.S. spec next-generation Ford Ranger will have a longer wheelbase and that its bed will also be longer compared to the worldwide model. This information was based on sightings of covered test mules near Ford's Dearborn headquarters. The rear wheel arch and the back were separated by more space than the prototype spied in the United States. 
The Global Next Generation Ranger features a 3,270 millimeter wheelbase, 50 millimeters longer than the previous version. The Ford Maverick, a vehicle Ford doesn't offer in Europe, Asia, Africa, and Oceania, might be kept at a safe distance from the Next Generation Ranger by being stretched and given a larger bed in the United States. Although Ford hasn't formally endorsed an electrified Ranger model, there are several signs that the project has moved forward. Ford intends to introduce a Ranger plug-in hybrid in Australia in 2024, according to a wheel story from September 2nd, 2022. According to earlier reports, the Ranger plug-in hybrid's official unveiling could happen much sooner in 2023. According to a news article published in Drive on February 2nd, 2022, the Ranger PHEV might be in Australian dealerships as early as late 2023. It's been suggested by Lars Krauss, the BOM in charge of marketing at Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles, that a plug-in hybrid system for the Rangers in the works. According to a Drive report dated April 26, 2022, Krauss informed the media during the Next Generation Amarok launch in April 2022 that we are not content with the electric range of the Rangers plug-in hybrid system. Australia might be among the first countries to sell Ford's brand new PHEVs because it's a right-hand drive nation and has a sizable market for the Ranger and Everest nameplates. Ford and the majority of other well-known manufacturers typically release PHEVs and BEVs first in China, the US or Europe, but this might be an exception. According to Ali Jamul, Ford's program director for Iconic and Ford Performance, the next generation Ranger will be heavily reliant on electrification. Every car has trade-offs, according to Jamul. An electrified Ranger would weigh more due to the battery. He stated that the weight disadvantage of batteries might be compensated by utilizing lightweight materials elsewhere. An engineer involved in the creation of the brand new Ranger indicated that the electrification is possible on the enhanced platform during a media roundtable for Australian journalists in 2021. And the Ford Ranger has been feature-proofed to new, different propulsion systems. Ian Faustin, the chief engineer of the new Ford Ranger, also spoke with Drive at the media briefing. He claimed that they have identified two key impetuses toward electrification. Customers who have used EVs before and are curious about the technology in Ford pickup vehicles are the first to express interest. Second, new laws have been introduced for a variety of markets that need them. A rechargeable Ranger will be addressed in 2021 by Hans Schepp, general manager of Ford Professional Europe. According to the news published by Automotive News Europe in June 2021, he claimed that the business intends to deliver a Ranger plug-in hybrid before 2025. A 2.3-liter PHEV system was reported. In order to produce 270 kilowatts or about 362 horsepower and 502 pound-feet of torque, the powertrain in question most likely consists of a 2.3-liter turbocharged EcoBoost engine made into a 10-speed automated transmission. It'll be very different from the 3-liter and 2.5-liter PHEV systems on the Explorer and Escape SUVs and is an entirely new plug-in hybrid technology that hasn't been used on a Ford car. And hey, that's going to hit today's episode, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on that like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any further questions or comments, you're always welcome to share them with us in the comment space below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more incredible videos. And we'll catch up with you in our next one. Hey, thanks for watching today and have a great day.